on Long Island, New York, of all places, we found a small sign of hope for the Gulf. Say hello to Olivia Bowler. A lot of people just want to sit there. Oh, it'll be fine. BP will do it. That's not going to happen. BP made a huge mistake, and I want to make up for that mistake. Olivia decided to take matters into her own hands after she saw what was happening to the birds. It wasn't fair for them. They didn't do anything wrong. She wrote this letter to the Audubon Society, saying, I am a decent drawer, and I was wondering if I could sell some bird paintings and give the profits to your organization. I will do all in my strength to earn money. Signed, Olivia, 11 years old and willing to help. And when a child says, 11 years old and willing to help, yeah. how could I, as a parent, not support that? How could I, as an American, not support that? And how can we, as a TV network, not support that? So over the weekend, CBS News flew Olivia and her family to the Gulf Coast to help her get out her message that we don't have to be hopeless bystanders in this tragedy and to show why it matters so much to her. There's oil on the feather. Early in her life, she has always loved birds. Olivia spent many summers here at her grandparents' cottage on the Alabama coast, where she not only learned every species of bird. Now, what is that? Great blue heron. But learned to appreciate them as well. Yeah, they're very beautiful, elegant creatures. Today, the only thing she likes more than watching birds is painting them. For the last few weeks, she's been offering her paintings and prints on the internet in exchange for donations. The response started out slow, but has come a long way. Far enough to make me feel flabbergasted. <laughs> Donations now total about $100,000. Somehow she's hit a chord that somebody is still trying, that she hasn't given up hope. The Audubon Society plans to use the money for animal rescue and to establish new bird habitat in the Gulf. And although Olivia feels good about that, she is clearly tortured by the fact that she can't do more. See? Just as we were leaving, she found another oily feather. <laughs> this is not fair. A lot of artists paint from the heart. That's not fair. This one, though, paints from a broken one. We will not give up. Look how far we've come so far. <laughs> Steve Hartman, CBS News. I know. Orange Beach, Alabama.